I'm going to briefly describe what a cogeneration plant is. And the, the overall idea is that we're going to generate burning some fuel, such as natural gas or coal. We're going to generate both electricity and steam. And then we're going to use the steam in some process somewhere else in, in, in the plant that we're looking at. This is a closed system, which means the steam stays within the system. But the objective is by generating both electricity and steam, we get a higher efficiency. A larger fraction of this fuel goes to create something, some energy that is useful. And so this higher efficiency is our goal. And what we're going to do is look at how this would apply for a Rankine cycle. So I'll go through each step in the, the cycle. This is the boiler. This is where we're adding heat to the system. So heat's going into the system, say by burning natural gas, we create high pressure steam. The steam is fed to a turbine. And the objective of the turbine is that we get work out of the system. Here we have high pressure steam. Here we have lower pressure steam. We then take this steam, put it into a condenser. And the objective here is we're going to remove heat to create a liquid. And the liquid's important because we're at low pressure now. We're going to use a pump, and the pump means we're going to put in some work. In order to get back here to high pressure liquid that we feed into a boiler and complete the cycle. And so the goal, of course, is to convert as much of this heat being added as possible into work. And I'd say net work, since a little bit of this work goes to operate the pump. In a cogeneration cycle, we take some of the steam from the turbine at uh, higher pressure. So we're going to take some steam out of here and we're going to go through an additional step, process, call this process heat. And then after we remove energy, so, so this again, now we're getting heat out. And then we feed this back into our system to condense it. Right, so just to be clear, the direction of the cycle. So by getting this additional heat out, so we have work plus heat as our outputs, and we have this as our input, overall efficiency can be higher when we have a cogeneration cycle. 